The faceless men are desperate again, and it looks like Kevin O'Lemon's coming back. OK, it starts off with a, a portrayal of Labor's so-called faceless men as dementors from Harry Potter. Now, the Harry Potter reference... <laughs> Right, I'm glad you agree. It's fair and balanced enough in the circumstances, I think. All right, But what I'm not sure about is why the lemon they're carrying breaks out into pustules. Uh, what's your take on this, Flournoy Quimby, from advertising firm Beg, Borough and Plagiarise? Well, Sean, I think the lemon represents the Labor Party. Yeah, well, obviously. Because they're not doing too well at the moment, are they? Yeah, all right. This is not the Gruen transfer. <laughs> Don't just sit there and tell us what we already know for half an hour with a big self-satisfied smirk on your fat face. <laughs> tell us something we don't know for fuck's sake. But ABC viewers like having what they already know reflected back to them by somebody on the TV. It makes them feel clever. Yeah, yeah, what? <laughs> Professor Ian Orbspider, what's your theory? Well, uh, Sean, presumably the whole thing is about the disease scurvy, uh, which often manifests itself in the form of a general malaise, lethargy and the formation of uh, spots on the skin. <laughs> but the, the ontological problem for the libs is can a lemon actually contract scurvy given that citrus fruits contain so much ascorbic acid? Yeah. <laughs> Vitamin C is a traditional preventative against scurvy, as any uh, primary school student or, or 18th century British sailor can tell you. Yeah, well, you know, we tried to book them, but they were busy. I eat mice. <laughs> <laughs> yes, one final thing about the ad that confused me, Professor. Uh, it really confused me. Was, was this. And Labour lemons never change their spots. A lemon never changes its spots. Is that, is that a familiar aphorism to you? And is it true? Well, the original adage, Sean, refers to a, a very small subsection of the animal kingdom, specifically the leopard. Ah, oh, yes. Mm, yeah. uh, to refer, uh, to use it to apply to, to the fruit kingdom is, is absurd. Mm. You, you, may, you may as well say, uh, 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 a banana never forgets. <laughs> <laughs> Let sleeping plums lie. Yeah. <laughs> or re re refer to for flogging a dead nectarine. All right. <laughs> Thank you very much indeed, Professor. Yeah. Sean. Sure. I think the secret to a great campaign ad is simplicity and cut through. You want effective reach to your key demographics and maximum buy-in on your candidate's core competency. Oh, shut up. <laughs> Let's have a look at an election 